On September 24, 2024, retired Colonel Viktor Murakovsky, editor-in-chief of Arsenal of the Fatherland, revealed that an unmanned tank with artificial intelligence, AI, is under development as part of Russia's experimental design project, Sturm. Spearheaded by Ural Vagan Zavad, UVZ, under a commission from the Russian Ministry of Defense, this project leverages the T-72 tank platform to create an AI-driven, remotely controlled tank capable of autonomous combat operations. The T-72 was selected for the Remote Controlled Tank, RTK, due to its cost-effectiveness, reliability, and proven performance. With its established reputation as a protected and maneuverable platform, the T-72 serves as an ideal chassis for integrating advanced AI systems and weaponry. Development on this AI-powered tank began before the conflict in Ukraine, but the urgency of the ongoing war has accelerated its progress. The Sturm RTK is based on the T-72B3 model, which is known for its robust firepower and battlefield survivability. According to reports from Army Recognition in September 2023, the Sturm unmanned tank has already undergone lift-fire testing. The tests involved firing its primary armament, a modified 125mm 2A46 tank gun with a shortened barrel, in various combat scenarios. The aim of these exercises is to refine the tank's ability to operate autonomously, particularly in targeting and engaging enemy forces without human input. The RTK's weapon suite includes not only the 125mm gun but also a range of heavy ordnance, such as the RPO-2 Schmelm flame rocket launcher, 30mm automatic cannons, and 220mm thermobaric rockets from the TOS-1A Sonsapiak heavy flamethrower system. This formidable firepower gives the unmanned T-72 significant combat versatility in both urban and open field engagements. A key element of the Sturm project is the integration of AI into the tank's fire control and movement systems. Borrowing technology from the T-90M and T-14 Armada tanks, the RTK uses intelligent systems to identify and engage various target types autonomously. The fire control system incorporates AI-powered decision-making, allowing the tank to assess its surroundings and execute fire missions without the need for direct human oversight. The tank's movement is equally advanced, with a system that combines previously tested RTK components with new AI-driven navigation technologies. These allow the RTK to move in formation, plan routes, evaluate terrain, and navigate obstacles using a combination of ultrasonic, visible, and infrared sensors. The AI's technical vision system, supported by trainable neural networks, enables the tank to operate in complex environments, overcoming both natural and engineered obstacles. Military expert Yuri Nutov commented on the strategic potential of these unmanned tanks, noting their ability to operate remotely could dramatically alter Russian tactics. With fewer personnel exposed to direct combat, these vehicles could be deployed more aggressively on the front lines, particularly in areas with high anti-tank missile activity, like Ukraine. As drones and AI-powered weapon systems become increasingly integrated into military operations, these developments could redefine armored warfare. Nutov also observed that the integration of robotic systems might necessitate a shift in the traditional deployment of heavy armor. For example, he proposed tactics like the tank carousel, in which three tanks rotate fire missions to sustain continuous pressure on the enemy without overextending a single unit. Such tactics could maximize the survivability and effectiveness of unmanned armored vehicles. Murakovsky outlined the broader scope of the Sturm project, which includes four distinct unmanned combat vehicle types. In addition to the 125mm gun variant, there is a missile-equipped version, a robotized version of the Terminator fire support vehicle with twin 30mm automatic cannons, and an unmanned vehicle designed to operate in tandem with the TOS-1A Sonsapec thermobaric rocket system. Each variant is equipped with sophisticated sensors and AI, allowing for autonomous operations in a wide range of combat scenarios. These systems are intended to function in heavily armored robotic companies within larger combined arms formations, suggesting that Russia envisions unmanned tanks as a permanent part of its future military forces. The decision to base the unmanned RTK on the T-72B3 is strategic. Introduced in 2011 as an upgrade to the T-72B, the T-72B3 has proven itself in modern combat. Armed with a 125mm 2A46 M5 smoothbore gun capable of firing APFSDS rounds, heat rounds, HEFRAG rounds and ATGMs, the T-72B3 can engage targets at ranges of up to 5,000 meters. 
It is also equipped with a 7.62mm PKT machine gun and either an NSV or Cord 12.7mm machine gun for anti-aircraft and ground support roles. The T-72B3 is outfitted with Relict Explosive Reactive Armor ERA, which enhances protection against armor piercing and tandem warhead threats. Additionally, the tank's fire control system, including the SOSNIU sight and automatic target tracking, allows for effective combat engagement even in low visibility conditions. Powered by an 840 horsepower V84 MS diesel engine, the T-72B3 can reach speeds of 60 km per hour on roads and 35 to 45 km per hour off-road. With a weight of approximately 45.6 tons, its wide tracks provide excellent ground pressure distribution, enabling it to traverse difficult terrains. The development of the T-72-based unmanned tank marks a significant technological leap for Russia's military. With its advanced AI capabilities, robust firepower, and autonomous operational functions, the Sturm RTK is poised to reshape armored warfare. As these vehicles undergo further testing and refinement, they are expected to become a central feature of Russia's ground forces, reducing risks to personnel while maintaining combat effectiveness on the battlefield.